everyone, and welcome to our first official Pac-12 baseball weekly roundup. This is Connor Letourneau. He covers the Oregon State Beavers. I'm Tyson Alger. I cover the Oregon Ducks. We did this video thing all through basketball season. We did it last year during baseball as well, and it's just kind of a kind of a brief look at how the Ducks and Beavers did, as well as a little bit of the Pac-12. And uh, basketball season is now officially done. We're on baseball full time now. And uh, Connor, it was a pretty big week for Oregon State. Uh, the guy threw a pretty good game, I think, right? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be there because I was on NCAA tournament coverage. But yeah, Drew Rasmussen, a freshman out of Spokane, threw a perfect game, the first perfect game in Oregon State history on Saturday in a 3 0 3-0 win over Washington State. It was the first perfect game in the NCAA since the 70s, or in the Pac-12 since the 70s. So it's uh, not bad. So a pretty, pretty huge feat for him. Uh, he's he's a very talented freshman. He locked down that Saturday spot behind Andrew Moore, and he he can top out his fastball can top out at 97. This guy could be a great arm yeah. for them uh, going forward. So I was able to get to know him a little bit earlier this week. Really down to earth kid, and there's nothing that tells me that he shouldn't you know keep up a pretty torrid pace in this in this season. Well, I mean I I know that was kind of part part of Oregon State's kind of mystery to the season was who were the guys that were going to replace like Ben Wetzler and Jace Fry and it looks like they at least have a nice Saturday guy to uh, go in there and, and do that. And their Sunday guy Travis Ecker, Juco transfers doing well too. Their whole their whole starting rotation is doing great. Even mm -hmm. their midweek guys, uh, Sam Tweed, a, a freshman out of Salem, uh, has been doing well. So, you know, their 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 offense is doing great and their their pitching is doing I think much better than anyone could have anticipated. So, Casey's feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, definitely. And and the turnaround in pitching is sort of what's helping the Ducks kind of turn it around now. They they had a really rough stretch where they lost two midweek games to San Francisco. They lost two of three in their first Pac-12 series to Cal. Then the next week they lost two of three to Arizona State, which is kind of a, a Pac-12 run that you haven't seen from the Ducks in a couple of years of unsuccess. They, they were very good last year than years before and years before. But a lot of that has been kind of a mixture of Oregon's rotation is really uh, depleted right now. They have a couple injuries. Cole Irvin's kind of reworking his pitch count. And the offense has been struggling too. But this last weekend, uh, Cole Irvin threw, I think he threw about 75 pitches. And he said it's the best his arm has felt since be being a freshman All-American two years ago. He had Tommy John surgery last season. So I think if you can kind of reestablish him back, back and he, he's on Sundays now because you don't want to deplete your bullpen early on. But... David Peterson's been pitching really nice on Saturdays, and Connor Harbor's had a little bit of a rough stretch to 